I can't be bothered. So here's what's up. I'm not going to stop giving you information. I am not. It is my intention. It's my desire that you take care of yourselves. Whether you take the joke or you don't take the joke. Like, listen, we all take joke. Like, and I see a lot of things circulating on social media. And boy, I may tell you the truth, I laugh because I never know say, some people so dunce. Now, I could establish say, dunce, I have nothing to do with book learning. Dunce, I can never get free of the vibes. Yeah, mix me up with somebody else. I get tired. When I use the word tired, just hear what I say. I don't get part in Telegram. Morning, lady. I'm mean, not like fair fair explain myself so much time. Because when you hear me tell you, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm code for scared or nothing like that. Nobody no page me. I'm not afraid of them. But I'm tired. And I know, I know the powers that be me tired of. I'm tired of the conversation with the regular people. I'm tired of the circular conversation. I'm tired of the... Greetings, free people. Greetings, free people. Came across this good system's information on a platform called, let me see what this platform called, LU TV. And when I listened to Tanya Stevenson, I was impressed. I was really impressed with this sister who is an entertainer. Uh, usually, we have entertainers come out for them own, you know, say, reasons. But when I listen to this sister, she hit it right on the head every single time with most of what she bring across. So this is why me have to share this information yeah, on my platform so at least some of my subscribers can you know, get a chance to listen to this beautiful sister where I express herself in a respectable way, irrespective of what people would have called bad word. There's no such thing. Anyway, listen to Tanya Stephen address some of these book learned institutionalized professionals. Miss Kitty, watch out. Tanya, I go hard. Real hard. The conversation, we're not going away. <coughs> Tell her the conversation where we have with the same exact words a million times. Um, I'm just tired. And because of that, my format has got change. I still have you the information. If you want to use it, use it. Lady and of course, me come by your show. Because me, see, me come in by your show and see you enjoy yourself. Yes, you will. You think you're easy. But me tell you, I go get information. I go tell us to slice up your onion them, put in a bowl and pour some hot water upon it and eat the onion and drink the water. There, there's never gonna come a time when me allow people will wind up like clockwork and Lego to make me dash way. When I grew up with a country, we grew up a country though. And every time we sick, there's a bush for match. And when people use bush and use the things in, at them disposal already in them kitchen with cheap or free in them yard I grow. And it works. There's nothing you can show me in a book. In text, there's nothing you studied in school that can render what I already know. Obsolete. You can't. You can't negate my lived experience. You cannot. So, it really doesn't matter if you're a doctor. And no, uh, let me tell you one piece of hypocrisy where I go on right now. I see people say, all of a sudden, these artists are doctor. But the artists, they might use to promote them shit. I'm not a doctor now, you know. <laughs> Me love them, you see? You see, because they don't think things all the way through. They're not so bright, you know? they're not so smart. They think they're smart in our ass. I'm going to tell you this now about education. Education and intelligence are two different things. You can develop your intelligence resulting from your educational exposure. Your formal education can help for hone your thinking skills. But it no. Them two things are synonymous. 
them two things are interchangeable. Intellect, intelligence, and knowledge are not the same. Knowledge is the ability to accumulate information, no fight can be useless. Being able to remember is all you need for your education. You just need a good memory. And some of our brain are used for nothing else, but it just use as hard drive storage. You know, you know the, the thinking part of it never activate. So the fact that somebody have a degree, two degrees, three degrees, have no bearing upon their intelligence at all. Majority of people when we see a talk out very loud now, they're educated. Loud as fuck. Loud and abrasive. I think you know some me loud. <laughs> I may mean, realize I'm quiet enough, but quiet. So you have some people now where them genuinely think say go sit down in a one square box in front of one man where I talk or one woman where I talk and take notes and memorize and regurgitate what somebody else wrote make them smart it does not it make them a memory bank it means that them can remember things some of them can't even apply the memory some of them just go to school and get the education for decoration for validation for for wave it like them banner for feel like them fit and for fit because them fit among other people like themselves but when them talk when you talk, them look at me and tell me, I don't no letters back on my name. I don't need no letters back on my name. I accomplish me, stand up on my own too. I don't need the people who validate people to validate me. I already have the ability to discern. I have the ability to think critically. And that's all I need. If I look at a job now, I need the papers. I concur. Obviously, it's only when you're a slave, you need papers to do this and do that and do all of these things. But hey. Let me rest my case. But I'm not looking at a job. And I don't know why I employ me. I'm not looking at a job. They are bigger than I go. Right? But. Education. Formal education is the result. Of. Repetition. Of being exposed. To information and by repetition our commitment to memory commitment to memory anyway keeping it now may have a thing where i go for me from when i go to school i never study never study you know? i never study because the moment i understand it if i know it i don't need to remember it because anytime it come back in front of me i go apply the same principle where i did apply from when i didn't just not learn it so yeah, there's somewhere in my memory, but more so the subconscious. I don't really need to commit it to short term. I don't need to sit down the whole night as what to do a test tomorrow because from the first time when the teacher did tell me, I did get it. That's why I'm not allowing a teacher to go pass what I did. I not allowing a teacher to go pass what we did without me actually understanding it. Once I get it, I'm good. I don't make memory people talk to me now. Yeah. Memory people can't talk to me now. Yeah. Memory people, and, and it's not that I go fight them and tell them to stop talking. No, I mean, like, me just know. I brush them off. I brush them off. External validation people can't talk to me now. Yeah. Them, not, them not have no value in a my landscape. Not even as props. Them not in a my landscape at all. Me only see them when Uno <laughs> bring me in them space. Me see them when Uno send me things. So I see somebody rant and go on and go hard. The most thing I want to do is recommend them to a good therapist. And I see them rant and go hard with, with what is essentially foolishness. We all rant and go hard from time to time, you know. But some of the time, when you see people rant and go hard with nothing back of that. Because here we are going now, may I tell you this. Since this whole foolishness start, I may I call it foolishness unapologetically. Since this foolishness start, because it wouldn't have been foolishness if them never did so opaque. You see, if them in this side be transparent and honest, it wouldn't be foolishness and majority of know that run go take the joke. But the moment them start going, the moment DM me, the moment them start going stealthy, when them start going underhanded, less than transparent, that is when majority of know start questioning it. 
So much people end up saying it before. When they run in with the thing and start thumping it, they ask a question and get a thump. Instead, they get an answer. That is what's causing the hesitancy. That's what causes it. Not because people take a body <laughs> and don't know what they put it. Um, I hear the thing now. Me a look and me a look in amusement, you know, because a lot of the people that I stood beside on body autonomy issues in other cases, such as rape, are now singing a different tune. Because when it comes to rape, they understood body autonomy. Morning, Miss Jenny. When it comes to rape, them understand body autonomy. But when it comes to this current issue, body autonomy seems to have taken not a back seat, but a space outside of the conversation. It no longer exists. So when I say, I don't want this joke, them remind me of the 16 body where joke me before. Yeah, but I may pick them. The, from the millions of body where we get offered every day, we whittle it down to 16 and we take them 16 day by choice. You not know, get for come and tell me, say, oh, but you take 16 body. Therefore, if me I come with a one little joke here, what's your hesitancy? My hesitancy, bitch, is the fact that I don't want it. Is the fact that this is still my body, regardless of your experience, it's still my body. And you don't get to have any form of authority over it. I don't care about your logic. I do not care about your logic. Because your logic is based on your myopic view. Now you're going to tell me that you need me to protect myself so that you can be protected from me. How the blood clot any of that makes sense to you? You know what's on a dance? Oh no, are don'ts. Because if what I'm gonna take is only protecting me from death or severe illness, then that's my choice. So put me one dead. I oh, no, never care before when people are dead for hungry. So you're alright with them are dead for hungry, but you're not alright with them are dead for this. You can still catch it and you can still share it. I oh, no, make it make blood clot sense. Make it make sense. Before you start talk so loud. So loud and boisterous and abrasive. Make it make sense first. Before you do the, the argument. Before you do the war. Do the conversation. Do the, do the silent conversation. And while you're talking, listen to yourself. Make it make sense to you too. Make it make sense. Because you run out wrong and strong. And I don't like say, you, I don't know if when they run out wrong. Obviously it not work or else they wouldn't still run out so wrong and strong. They would, have, they would have run out the first time. Make them talk, and then they would need to talk again. Me and the other hand over here, so I not tell nobody not take nothing. All I'm saying is don't mandate. Me I see them take time, I, I, I come closer and closer in. But we, we, we rights. These are our human rights. I concur. Come on, these are our fundamental rights, which are inherent, which are creator-given, or God-given. Not a gift from man, nor a corporate body politic, nor a politician. So you're correct. Your human rights is one thing, but your fundamental rights and freedom is what we really are talking about according to what was written in the contract that Constitution has amended. And our civil rights, with body autonomy rights, them are eroded. Civil rights. So, it's a form of discrimination also, where people can file discrimination suit against corporate public servant is discriminating against them, whether they are vaccine or not. Yeah, man. It's another thing you can add to all of the charges, you know, discrimination. We're right. Listen, every time something come up, you know, when you look upon the, the short view, think of this as driving. When you're up on the road and you're in a traffic, you can't just watch your car in front of you, you know. 
You can't just look on the car in front of you alone. You have to look on the car them gone all the way as far as you yeah, can see. If somebody break abruptly, way down the road, half mile if you can see it, you need to respond to that friend now. You know, wait until it, the chain reaction reach all the way down to you. If you see something up there, so I come, it look like it's a cause accident, you take yourself from now. You don't wait until it reach down to you. This is how you drive. And this applies to everything in life. This is just common sense. They may have common sense. You never go to college and go get a degree for this one. You just need to sit down and engage the little muscle. The muscle. Some of you, let me tell you, me, me and Jim are no friend. Me and Jim are no friend. I you know, mean, me go to the gym, I don't really do the most. I don't lie, I'm lazy the way. But you see, one muscle. Other people work out them biceps and triceps and them and build abs and them legs, them pecs, stand up. I work out the muscle. I work the muscle until the muscle is stiff, like, stiffer than most on the body. The muscle, the muscle stand up at all times. The muscle get all of my attention. It's the one muscle where I don't fuck with. People who sit down and make the muscle go flabby like them, but it cannot dictate to me. Cannot dictate to me. I don't try to go around nature, you know. I don't go around nature, I don't make shortcut people tell me nothing. Shortcut people cannot have a conversation with I. Because of critical thinking, I think. So if you can't think critically, me and you can't have a conversation. That It's just that simple. And when we enter into the public space and we start laying down instructions for other people to live by. I tried the hashtag natural immunity and that shit is gone. Natural immunity. Listen, me, me and I want conspiracy theorists, you know. And there are many things circulating out there which just make me laugh. Me laugh. So might me laugh. Because honestly, there are people I would have al al aligned myself with if they didn't talk so much foolishness. Them talk one piece of smart thing and then them come in with a bag of shit. The people them will come with the religion, put in it and the mark of the beast and Jesus and God. And yeah, me, you're not going to engage me and me and you can't go turn upside by side and, and march for nothing at all. The people them where put all of the unrealistic demands in and then thing and we are talking about the slippers and they move and gone over to the table and they're really not me and them can't focus and think and think logically, think critically. But there are things which give me pause. There are things which give me pause. The fact that me have somebody where me actually vote for, me vote for him twice. Me vote for him when he lose. I'm a vote for him when he win back. And after that, if I vote for him again, me personally chop off the finger myself. And your wholeness. When you have somebody way supposed to be a public servant, we're supposed to represent the will of the people. Supposed to try to represent the people. And every time the people ask a question, they get a question. No answer no blood clot question at all. None. First of all, one set of doctor can dominate the, the conversation. Yeah. This, it, this, this is not a conversation. This is a fucking soliloquy. This is a monologue. But that's never been science. From my exposure to science from a little bit. It's never been science. Science has never been one voice. It's always been a debate, a conversation. It's never been one voice. Every theory were presented, get dissected, have to be proven or disproven. Every theory, and, and science presents things, and then science itself go hard upon it to make sure it says stand up. See, these are the first in my life and, 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 and the first in my knowledge of human existence where science become a dictatorship. And it's not people where true to science where I do this. A people are true to commerce, I do this. And, it, and them conversation are science based. Like how this sister talk. Yeah, she call them public servant. Yeah, she use the word commerce. That means she actually try to apply herself. And here she say her muscle in her brain. Oh, it's stiff, it's stand up, it's tough. Yeah, man, and this is what we want from our people to apply themselves and think autonomously. Don't just take my word for it. In fact, don't take nobody's word for it. Whatever I say, you qualify it. You qualify it so you can bring closure 
for yourself and your progeny. So I like how this sister, you know, I express herself. And for Miss Kitty, where going at the foreign institutional system and get all of these degrees and act as if, you know, when she wear her pearl round her neck. Wouldn't know the significance of these things. It's not necessarily impressed with when you're not humble. It's not necessarily impressed with when you're not come with the truth. It's not necessarily impressed with when you stay unbiased. You know what I mean? If you don't stay unbiased, right now, you're biased. You know, because you're going at a foreign system and them give you some foreign accreditation. You know what I mean? So you say you're way above the people, so you come and attack a lot of mess. Knocking at the people, talking about them little spiritual practice and them phobia and all of these things. I find it funny still, and I go I really find it entertaining. But here is a serious lady, I will never find it funny none at all, and I put you in a place. And she has put in a place with a whole lot of respect behind it. You know what I mean? Because she is correct and proper. So I said, salute on your statements. At first, me really, I listen to you and I kind of like them kind of, you know, presentation. Yeah, mom. Take your kids off of my life. Swell dog. You have to come off of the live because me, I got my life. I invite no bad words, please. My kids listening, take it, take them off of the live. Come off of it, please. Don't do that to me. This is my life. This is not your kids' life. Don't do that. And this is not a child friendly space. This are, these are me. Me talk with bad. Now come here so we don't pick them. If we're talking about, we're talking about an illness, right? That's all we're talking about. One illness. And the conversation moved from healthy to jabbed. Why we move from healthy? Isn't, the, isn't what you propose, isn't what you propose supposed to be taking us toward healthy? So why we move the, the, the goalpost from healthy? Why we stopping at Miguel? Why are we stopping at the middle? Pound one route. When you think, you know, man. Think, and this is my problem. Say, some people come out and talk, and them tell me, say, me, you know, me, you know, one doctor. We're prime minister, no doctor, neither. <laughs> he not a doctor, neither. And one doctor cannot negate the experience or observation of so many other doctors. No, no, you're going to tell me that. But a lot of doctors have said, X, yes. And a lot of doctors have also said, why? So why are we being instructed to hang on to X in exclusion of Y? Why is this not a conversation? Why is it that every time there's a, con there's a, there's, there's a speech, it's all from the perspective of X? Why is Y not included in the dialogue? How we now see them? You know what me the like to see? One real conversation, and not with my brethren, Michael Abrams. Not Michael. One conversation where I take place publicly, visibly. You know, like Tough and go live all the while I make people talk, but you're not gonna ever hear him bring on some of the doctors who have real experience treating patients and getting them better. Why we not hear that? Even if you get joke. Even if you get joke, you still you still are susceptible to it. You still can catch it and you still can share it. Now listen to my argument why me insist say no mandating. No mandating because if you take the joke, you can still catch it and you can still share it. Now it may lessen the impact on you, so then say, but everybody when me know we catch it, we, um, a one smuddy me know we catch it, we dead. Everybody else me know we catch it, get better. Right? And the one person me know we catch it, we dead, they have so many other things that catching that. And not grabbing the other things and treating them aggressively would have resulted in a death anyway. Right? We ignore everything that doesn't agree with the narrative being sold. That 
alone should have give you pause. That alone should have scared the fuck out of you. Say some people I say, hey, me take it and this happened to me and they run them. That alone, even if I lie them, I tell you know what would have made better sense and what would have relaxed people? Let them in at the conversation. Let them in. I could discuss this. People I say them have. People I say them suffer. Side effects. People I say them suffer. Side effects were actually listed by the manufacturers as possible side effects. And then dismiss them and say completely safe. Now, if the manufacturer say it's not completely safe, how you arrive at say it, people are, are make some claims with them can't possibly make because you can't tell me completely safe and you know have the benefit of knowing what it's going to do to me in two years. Only two years can tell you that. The only, only thing we can tell us that are safe in a two years is two years. We have not had two years. People are telling me, say, I may take it, I'm a fine. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. The fact that you take it and you're fine, and somebody else said, then take it and don't find, and you still come here, so I ram your fineness down them throat, make you a pussy hole, it don't make you nothing else. It don't make you smart. It just make you an asshole and it make you apathetic. Because you been okay, you know that is you know that the same conversation we have from last year when them sit on your yard. I'm say you can't, you can't just say that this blanket statement thing on do does not work for everybody else. It does not work for everybody else. So you have food, you have creature comforts, you can go in and sit and stay in. But the man next to you can't because he doesn't have food and he don't have no creature comforts. And psychologically, this is going to kill him. It, it, the thing that you're trying to save him from is not going to kill him. It's your measures that's going to kill him. Make better measures. That's what we're saying. Make better measures. Make better measures. Make better measures. Come up with better measures. Don't ask, come on my Instagram, come ask me. Okay, so what you say then? Okay, so what you say? Blood clot. You did see me run for that position there. You may ever apply for that job there. You can tell me, say, the man who apply for the job, I do it in a way where I think it's not in the best interest of the collective. And I said that, and, and when I said that, you say, me if, he, me if he come up with something, and me I get the paycheck, and me have the job. Him if he come up with something better, that I didn't job, that I went literally apply for, and then war feet. Them war feet. So now do the job. I don't me no, me no want in job. And then I act like it personal and like me, I go, me out for him blood. Me not out for him blood. The other person, they didn't have this spot before him. I did see him approach me, take to them. Me not have no preference. Me not have no dog in the fight. Yeah. Me not have no horse in the race. Yeah. All I say is, make it make sense. Make it make sense. And some smart people, when me look on some of my people, and we actually a lecture on the picnic, they know like blood clots. Save the money and go get uh, and, and go see if you can take the money they invest in on the people and pick them for start a little business because if a die idiot they teach them to bomb a clot, more idiot them a make. Them just a make more idiot. Your pit go come out as a fool, me don't know if you tell you this. Your pit go can put the fuckery together, string the words them together and make it sound cute. But I go be pure tripe. If a that the idiot and them the idiot. I instruct your pick me. Because they have no sense. Me listen to Uno a talk. Me listen to Uno a talk and when me hear the conversation reach to the part where people don't take the joke, no fee access <laughs> health care. Oh. Something wrong with Uno. Something wrong with you now. So here we are going with me now. I sit down and I look for the black community beat up one another over this. I look for the female community beat up one another over this. I look for the LGBTQ, all the other letters, beat up one another and beat up other people over this. And I realize that I really don't want to be in a group with no humans. You know, because it's not nice. All I do is just look for the one thing where Uno like and Uno converge on that and beat up everybody outside of that. Uno no know how to coexist peacefully. Uno just no know. Just no know. 
how to coexist. I don't know I know neither. Oh, no. You guys have no interest in learning to coexist with each other. So if you don't divide over race, you don't divide over gender, you don't divide over religion, you don't divide over sexuality, you don't divide over health. All of you want to be healthy, you don't divide over health. How the fuck you don't arrive at that? You know dunce that is? Do you know dunce that is? That we, the conversations will take place internationally. Let me give you one piece of hypocrisy about Jamaica will bother me all the time. You see, every time we have the conversation about human rights from the perspective of the LGBT com community, Jamaica say we're not ready for that and we don't want to follow nothing where they do to find that are foreign things. Jamaica not depend that we can think for ourselves and work for ourselves and we come up with our own thing and Jamaica say rrr and a rrr. And then this comes about and we say, Hey, stop and think. The engine, this is what the whole world is doing. Oh, so now we can do what the whole world is doing. We're not some pussy. That I want to know if you know. We're not, we're not on the live. Maybe I'm not some pussy. But we're going to watch it after. And then I'm going to cut, cut and share, share it after. And just me want to know this. And I mean, I decided. You know, every time you stand up in front of the mirror, is a pussy, you see. And I mean, I decide it. Because on the mouth, change. And I don't think it means I'm not bad, I'm not tough, I'm not full of spine. No, I'm not spineless. I'm not just bend under the weight of whatever I'm not choose to bend under. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not spineless. And I don't think of pe people who stand up and think for themselves are the ones who are actually weak. I don't think of them people who say, Yo, make we stop and discuss this now. Why, when, why we can't have a conversation? Why? Why we can't hear a healthy, robust discussion involving some of the doctors will say hey early treatment early treatment and not with remdesivir early treatment we treat successfully using natural herbs we treat successfully why we never we had from last year till now we had from last year till now for early treatment conversation i go on from early last year you know? and it's been <laughs> it's been vilified it's been criminalized from last year you know how much time that where well, we could have actually take some people were dead you know you know, you know look on the people and say see there you know not listen you know not take the jokes so see they're not dead what are, are why are we not test on them people and since you know right them off and say them are dead because they ears tough all right they ears tough them have audience and they not listen i don't make them lie down right this one and dead why don't never try sitting there spawn them since they're dead anyway you know prefer bury them without seeing if you know could have make them live this is what i say all right, you go do what you do. You do what you do. And you cost me. Say, me not do what you do. But me I do something else. And me I say, hey, try this now. You rather sit down and watch people die than try something else. And you think that is science. And you say, follow the science. And then you tell me, say, the doctor, them that are them trained for them going and the scientists that them make this. Yeah. But nature made this, and it's been working for generations, for, as, for all of human history. And some doctors who were also trained in the same way, them other people trained, said, so then use it, and it worked. Why are we discounting actual doctors' testimonials? Why are we discounting that? Why aren't we trying that? We should not try everything in our arsenal. Now we've picked one thing and decide everybody needs to for gravitate to that and that scares the fuck out of me that scares me because this is not a healthy conversation and it should be if it if, if it and nothing else it should be a healthy conversation because this is a conversation about health so for the people I'm way say First of all, the term anti-vaxxers, where it come from? How people become anti-vaxxers for saying, there's something else that works, and I'd rather use that. Or, I'm uncomfortable with this. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a lot scared. I don't trust this. Let's have a conversation. And they become an anti-vaxxer. After taking 150 vax, they become an anti-vaxxer for the one year. I don't know think. How do they become an anti-vaxxer? So we... we we're not comfortable with the word nigger. 
but we're comfortable with the word immigrant if I know we. You see, if 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 if, if I know we, it apply to like when 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 I'm a a a, a citizen. Me comfortable with the term immigrant because they belong. You when me born yeah? you think it's easy. And if my black, me uncomfortable with the term nigger. Me uncomfortable with the term me. But, but comfortable with the term insurgent, because that probably not apply to me. So any word when I apply to me, is a word I'm comfortable with. I am comfortable with whatever word and action oppresses you because it is external to me. So I can comfortably watch you suffer. Apathy is the biggest problem. There's no virus will come here. We're as bad as the apathy where we have for one another. We don't have feelings. See, no one doctor where they run out wrong and strong about, about AIDS. Where they say, if you're living, if you're living in the same place, people where you're living in a house with, and give you AIDS. You don't no have sex, you don't no share, you no don't no do nothing where you tran transfer for you, for you, for be. You don't no do nothing where we establish now. So that is the way how we share that the virus. A wrong and strong back at it again, you know. Wrong and strong is back at it again. The man run out and make people kick out them loved ones out of the house. You know how much people dead from years when they were dead? A whole lot of people dead from years when they were dead, you know. And I'm the same one, you know. A brother, the same brother where the world are falling right now. That no give that no give no pause at all. No, how does your thought process continue unabated when confronted with stuff like this? How do you justify that in your mind? That you just hang on to a narrative, and you even if it's full of thorns, if it have bar. It's called cognitive dissonance, sister. Cognitive dissonance. That's what it is. Herbs. It has spikes. You hang on. It has stab up every square inch of your body and you still hang on. You bleed, you still hang on. Oh no, hang on, so. You know, step back once and say, let me hear what a fool you say. Because even a fool sometimes comes with something where potent or useful, where correct. I concur. If the conversation can't take place with transparency, do you trust it? No. If the conversation cannot take place as a conversation this is not even a fucking conversation it's not it's an eating. it is it's not a conversation for eating. it to be a conversation all parties involved need to have a voice yes. there is no voice yes. i just won one a one single argument are gone to the exclusion of everything else that should fucking scare you taking the joke or not that should have scare you if it's scary you have to think and yeah you're right see the king the people pushing for segregation are serious and petty tyrants may not think them petty them are tyrant full-blown them did want separate long time these are the people who Remember, you know, them people that are separate from other things, you know. I'm educated and you're not. Now then come back. I'm vaccinated and you're not. Like, listen. We established this from man and me and you're different. And I'm happy that you noticed that. Because I want it to be abundantly clear that we are different. You and I are not of the same ilk. All skin folk are not kin folk. I'm a thinking person. You are a follower. You think you're a follower, but you have not ever once created a thought. Gratitude. Gratitude. This is why I would say we need to think autonomously. Yeah, man. Of yourself. You have taken the thought. 
that seemed like it would give you the most traction and you have run with it and you have screamed it at the top of your lungs. But you have not sit down. You have not sat down for yourself and actually thought things through and arrived at your own independent conclusion. Your own independent conclusion is going to be, be um, synced with others because there is no new thought out there. But what is new is your arrival at the conclusion. That is new. Try that. Try that sometimes. Try that. Go in on yourself and see what you think. What me think? What Vivian Stevens said, if a rich man think? No guy can't come give me no script. I mean, just out there, so just a parrot it. Just a parrot, a parrot, a parrot. I may tell you something now. I look upon some people. Um, and me see them attack. And talk and talk and talk loud and strong and 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 a bully people. This, this this is the thing that gets me. Them a bully people way. Some of them people yeah. Oh God. Some of them have real concerns, you know. Some of them they have real concerns, you know. Stop for listen to them. Listen to them. Them have concerns. And and the the tests were not done on every body type, every biology. You know, done by every condition, you know, you know, tested upon people with every single thing. So there is no precedent. Test is now. They are testing the people now. Everybody where I get vaccinated is being tested. Just research the test key, the Tuskegee experiments. And you will see where it's a government program. It's a government instituted program where them take the people, inject the people to see the reaction from the people to create something different. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. It's just that we are here now with a whole bunch of information and a lot of people now are wide awake. And I still say, when you remove yourself from this construct, then them can't talk to you with no kind of authority, none whatsoever. We have to remove ourselves from this corporate body politic. That's oppressing the people with all of these policies, which is not law. The moment them are going to abrogate, infringe, and, and, and violate your fundamental right, which them very same documents say uh, parliament, now no organ of parliament, shall infringe, abridge, or abrogate these very fundamental rights and freedom of the people. The government are in their position because of the people. But if the people lack the knowledge for know that they are the ones who delegate their authority to this body politic, then they'll be subjected and they will suffer voluntarily, go through hardship by choice, put it that way for outcome as far as certain people concerned so when you hear no for the people where them across are not even anti-vaxxer and not anti dc vax no for the people where them across would have love to take it but they really have genuine concerns and scared them not blood clot answer none of that you don't realize that them just run out with the big mouth the loud mouth the wide mouth the wide mouth just when you open the wide mouth somebody just put a body in there please put a body in there stuff it because the talking, it no work. It in, in them and the talking no work. It no good. That's stuff for body in there. Miss Kitty, how deal with so? There are people with endometriosis and all different kinds. Of, you know, when, when your ears say, it's a affect. It's a affect. People menstrual cycle. This is not a guess. We are guess now, you know. When I guess, it a affect people menstrual cycle. And we have not had enough time or done enough testing or had enough observation of it to see how it's going to turn out for people we already have people we have things are going on with them don't they so already we don't know you can't say that's mother that they take it six months ago and them find out we no no we have we have history for draw upon. We have history for draw upon. I know like so we stand up out here so in the middle of nowhere with no knowledge at all. We have 
history. We actually have precedence set. Where them experiment, them tell lie, them test, them pass things. How much time you lie down in here? You better watch TV. And you see, come on, if you or a loved one has taken, and I can fill in a million and one things in other blank bed. It did pass by the same body where, 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 where they must say pass this, you know, which incidentally you won't get most likely don't pass, you know, because the one where they pass. World Health Organization, who, WHO, and the CDC, Center for Disease and Control, something like that. These are the corporate institutions that are issuing these recommendations according to freedom documentation don't touch road yet why why not do this why why we do this why we have that stupid conversation here we don't know how stupid a conversation you be say you beat me up one time you know may i go through something you know i want my friend them did i try to reach me and i'm gonna reach me because i never want to be reached i lock off because i go blind in one eye blind me me have a cataract I'm going to go blind in my right eye. It didn't stop me from driving. I couldn't drive because I never have no peripheral. Um, not from a function. Take away from me. And me depressed as fuck. Oh my God, I was so depressed. Because I like to be full functioning. I like to be independent. I don't like to depend on people for nothing at all. I don't want to get up and want to go somewhere and can't go somewhere. And granted, I could have get up and go to the road and drive, you know. Because who don't know? But me know. Me know so if I drive, May I put myself and other people at risk, more so other people. And I did not want to do that. I would never do that. So, my functions did cut down vastly because driving enabled me to do the majority of what I do. And taking that from me, I'm mostly power by myself. I don't no, no really like, I don't no power with people. And me, at the time, the people I'm power with, no for them to drive because I picked me. And my brother did want to find me and he couldn't find me. And I go in and I do my surgery and then pop the eye and I take it out and put in a new lens. Right now I have a lens where so glowing in the dark. I look like Android. And I lie down in my house and curl up and hug up my knee and depressed and <laughs> he couldn't find me. And he started cussing me. Cuss me. Say, oh, a team had checked on me. And him here, say, me, did, me, I did blind. And he here, say, and when he want to talk and him and he care and care and cuss the fuck out of me. I'm sit down there thinking, cause this is going right now, you know. I'm sit down there thinking to myself, say, alright, let me see out. Me this not alright, me this me, me do the maths, cause maths are not my strong suit. Me dog, me never go lie to you, no know. maths are not my strong suit. I mean, say, alright, me I go through something. Me I go through something. You know I go through nothing, you know. Me I go through something, and you care, and you want the best for me, so you beat me up. This is what's going on right now. They might beat me up for something for me. Them said they want the best for me. So they beat me up. Because the thing where they beat me up for do, even though they keep saying for protect them from me, protect you from me, how you the one with the protection for need protection from me, the one without the protection? Oh, this make you, you know, blood clot. Me not have to be a scientist, me just have to have a working brain. This no make no sense. This makes no sense. And there are some people of high profile we run out and talk loud. And me not talk nobody in particular. Me not, me not, me not listen to name of nobody. And me not, me not care who not think me a talk. Who not talk, I probably not even who me a talk. And who me a talk, who not probably not even realize. Say them out there talk. But there are a lot of people of influence who have run out. And are bullying people. Because this is not PR. This is bullying. Maybe they think they are promote it. They are not promoting it. They're bullying people. And they're promoting ideas such as taking away people's right to earn a living and feed them family. You want to protect them from something that has a very, very high recovery rate by starving them to death. Are you telling me that you're not forcing it and it's not being mandated? It's not being mandated. Well, let me tell you what a mandate, mandate is. A mandate is giving people no other viable option Options. a mandate is enforcing something now let me tell you what enforcing is force if a man juke in a, a, a alley 
You in a dark alley and a man joke you with him gun and say, Give me your wallet or I'm gonna shot you. Is that a choice? <laughs> Is that a choice? Satan Is that the hurts. law? No. Is that the law's position on this that you had a choice? Therefore you have no case. You can't you can't take this man to task because he gave you a choice. Where does the law stand on this? There is no is law. Is that a policy. choice? It's all policy. The law Every time you open your mouth and you're gonna let out something. Think it through first, no man. Law say parliament or no organ of parliament shall take no action to abridge. Infringe and abrogate your fundamental rights and freedom. So what is going on is called policy. It has absolutely nothing to do with law, written law. It's all policy. And even with the policy, you have to consent. And if you do not consent, then for go on side with it. This is law. People can only be governed by their consent. And these politicians here who are public servants need to be put in their place. But the people have to have knowledge to do that. You can't do it when you are done, says this beautiful sister here said. Some people are move like they get paid. Some people are move like they get paid. Agents. Because we can't see no other reason for this level of buffoonery. I may call it buffoonery because this is what it is. Some people are move like somebody stand up over them with a gun or a hold them family hostage. And some people are move like they get paid. Because there's no other way of thinking people were smart otherwise can come out like this. People care otherwise. Women know they care otherwise. When we see them do things we are caring alone and I make them do that. I don't condemn nobody, you know. I don't condemn nobody. I may have talked to one of my bridges the other day. And as somebody who I love and read. And he kept repeating the same thing. And I say, Yo, you sound like a parrot. And he said, I say me I be insulted. But if you look up parroting, that's literally what it is. <laughs> talking, talking, talking. Repeat. Now that parroting me. If you take one sitting. And just repeat it. And it sounds like a familiar, popular narrative. And it just kept coming back. It becomes annoying. 